Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my YouTube channel today. In the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 4, the Bible says, Yea, let God be true, and every man a liar. In my video today, I want to talk about the danger of a good pastor. The dangers of a good pastor. Now, I, I believe that pastors are God's uh, blessing to a local church and if you're not careful they can be uh, a pain in the neck and and I believe that I mean the the church members should respect their pastor they should honor their pastors they should regard their pastor they should treat their pastor well I mean I 100% agree you know it, it is very important that you know you should give them the double honor especially those that labor in word of God, you know, those that you know that prayed for you, fasted for you, and um, those that you know care so much about you. But you know, in an effort to respect to honor your pastor, it is very important that there are dangers that you need to watch out. Okay, there are danger, dangers of a good pastor. Now, we have so many preachers in Nigeria, in and uh, they have so many crowds. And uh, I can think of you know, we have some. And men that you know that have been in the front front of you know Pentecostalism like Joshua, Seaman, you know Arume, Osai, uh, I mean, and many more of them. Apart from the uh, the old preachers, you know, in, in Nigeria, even though we may have our disagreement, you know, and yes, uh, yes, are the things that I you know I I want to say to many of their followers who are watching me. And one of the things that you need to be very careful is. First of all, you need to be very careful of holding these people as God, all right? You know, the dangers of a good pastor is that, you know, you see them as God, okay? And that would be a terrible mistake that a lot of you are making, you know, and uh, you've made God out of pastors and that, you know, everything that they say is seen as authoritative and, you know, they can be wrong, you know, they can be uh, they can be fast check, you know. They, I mean, just like you know, they used to say, the fathers are always right. So it is a grave mistake that is destroying, you know, Christianity and you know, in Nigeria. And one of the, I mean, one of the messages I'm gonna share with you in the future is, you know, Godfatherism is destroying biblical Christianity in Nigeria. So I believe that, you know, look, I mean, making this, making gods out of these people is a very a strong uh, red red line that people and believers should never cross. And you know, I have interacted with many followers of these people when I call them out and I talk about them. I have seen reactions from them, and many of them you know, they can't even defend you know the Bible. So please don't make God out of these men. They are just men, you know, trying to do the will of God. And that is why you shouldn't make God out of them. And the second thing, the danger of a good pastor is to believe everything is said without fact checking with the scripture. Now, I believe that as Christians, we need to be designing. You know, we need to we need to try every spirit. We need to, you know, we need to, we need to, uh, I mean, Hold fast to that which is good after we have proved all things. So, I believe that another mistake that many people make is, you know, believing everything without checking out, without, you know, double checking whether those things are scriptural. I can, I mean, I can talk about so many things that many pastors have said that, you know, their church members have been propagating because their pastor says so. And let me say that it would be a grave error when you were challenged or when you are challenged to talk about why you believe and you you just talk to people that you know i believe it because my pastor has said it so i believe that you know i mean following pastors without ch fast checking is a grave error in the bible we see apostle paul you know was fast checked by the Berean christians so i believe that every christian can be liberian by fast checking whether those things that you have been hearing are true and verity so we need to be very careful of these people as we follow them let's make sure that we don't make god out of them let's make sure that we always fact check what they are preaching and we need to understand god forbid let god be true and every man a liar the only person that is right is god and that is why we need to stand 
upon the word of God. We need to stand upon the truth of the Bible without compromising what the Bible says. All right. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. I hope I have been a blessing to you. Uh, you know, like this preaching or like this uh, video, you know, for YouTube or team. And I'm going to see you next time in my next video. God bless you.